Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania just hit back harder than ever in shocking announcement to those who trashed her trip. It seems that most everyone has an opinion on a woman's appearance, and being the first lady certainly does not exempt one from that. If anything, for former fashion model Melania Trump, it seems that her position has only heightened the observations of her appearance. Everything from the length of her skirt, the message on her jacket, the height of her heels, the color of her lipstick and what she chooses to wear in what location is scrutinized endlessly. Yet as Melania notes, clothing does not make the man. Or woman in her case and judging on appearance is giving too much value on the surface and often missing the value found beneath. She spent this week visiting four countries in Africa in five days as her first solo trip as the First Lady. The First Lady visited Ghana, Malawi, and Kenya before landing in Egypt, where she wrapped up her trip. The Guardian noted that Melania visited the Nairobi National Park in Nairobi, Kenya, where she was spotted wearing a white blouse, brown riding pants, boots, and a white pith helmet, which is associated with colonial rule across Africa. Worn by European explorers in Africa in the 19th century before it became a symbol of status and oppression, the choice to wear the pith helmet was slammed across social media. The pith helmet style is one designed to shade the wearer's head and face from the sun and at one time was standard issue for military personnel in active service in any sort of tropical climate. Modern medical opinion holds that some form of wide-brimmed, but light headwear, such as a Panama hat etc., is highly advisable in strong sunlight for people of all races to avoid skin cancers and overheating. Yet everyone is a critic as over 60 notes. In what is considered a rare moment. Melania Trump has fired back at those criticizing her outfit choices during her most recent trip to Africa. Melania, 48, took to Twitter to post a video of her addressing the backlash she has received over her wardrobe, which many people believe to be tone-deaf and arrogant. But the video, which shows the First Lady in Egypt, has prompted even more criticism after declaring, I want to talk about my trip and not what I wear. That's very important what we do, what we're doing with USAID, what I do with my initiatives. I wish people would focus on what I do, not what I wear." The criticism from news and social media users started when Melania was photographed wearing a white pith helmet, which has historical ties with Africa's colonizers. It was the headgear that attracted most attention, wrote The Guardian. Pith helmets, so-called because they are made of the material Shola pith, were worn by European explorers and imperial administrators in Africa, parts of Asia and the Middle East in the 19th century before being adopted by military officers rapidly becoming a symbol of status, and oppression. Users on social media hilariously compared the First Lady with film characters such as Dr. Renee Emile Belloc from Indiana Jones and Michael Jackson from his music video for Smooth Criminal. Many others were quick to point out how she exclusively supported European designers instead of showcasing the work of local African creators. The backlash, which accused Melania of reinforcing colonialist behavior, began a viral hashtag flow to Zan Africa Bingo hashtag where Twitter users began to list the different stereotypical attitudes of tourists when visiting Africa. Kim Yi Dion, a political science professor from the University of California, is responsible for initiating the hashtag and claims that the First Lady's outfit choices reinforced colonial attitudes. Her attire is a signal of her understanding of what Africa is in 2018. It's tired and it's old and it's inaccurate, Dr. Dion told The New York Times. Breitbart News Notes Melania Trump briefly lost her footing when a baby elephant startled her with a sudden move, but the First Lady was anything but out of step when children at an orphanage welcomed her to their home with African song and dance. It didn't take long for the typically reserved U.S. First Lady to dive fully into the moment. Mrs. Trump arrived at the Nest Orphanage on Friday after helping feed baby elephants, still clad in the riding pants and tall brown boots she had worn on a safari. A group of children who live at the orphanage and had been waiting for their American visitor broke into song and dance. With a child's hand clasped in each of hers, Mrs. Trump led the group up a walkway toward the home for orphaned infants, sashaying to the music as she approached a bank of waiting news cameras. The First Lady was similarly immersed in the moment earlier at Nairobi National Park, where she had gone early Friday to highlight elephant conservation. Mrs. Trump seemed reticent at first but she eventually stepped down from the platform she was standing on to take a large milk bottle with a big red nipple and feed some of the orphaned elephants being raised at the park a few miles outside of downtown Nairobi. Soon she was petting and stroking the elephants, smiling and laughing and having a good time. The Trump administration recently decided to again allow Americans to import the body parts of African elephants shot for sport.
the administration said removing a ban on elephants imported from Zimbabwe and Zambia and encouraging wealthy big game hunters to kill the threatened mammals would help raise money for conservation programs. Trump at first decried lifting the ban, but he did not intervene in a federal agency decision to begin judging the importation of elephant trophies on a case-by-case -case basis. Trump's adult sons, Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump, are trophy hunters. After donning a white pith helmet, Mrs. Trump later climbed into an open-air vehicle for the 90-minute safari, taking photos on an iPhone and peering through binoculars for a closer look at zebras, giraffes, impalas, sleeping rhinos and hippos bobbing in water. She also visited a site where 105 tons of ivory was burned as part of an effort to discourage the trade. Ivory can only be extracted from elephants after they have been killed. Back at the orphanage, Mrs. Trump left the same way she arrived. After an outdoor book reading session, she was encircled by the same children she led up the driveway as they sang and danced some more. The first lady was quickly encircled by the gleeful children and she smiled and danced some more. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.